Yo, what up, what up, it's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man, right here with the Dub Magazine Project. Bang. The Dub Magazine Project. Family means the most to me. Ride shotgun with the stars. I'm the biggest boss in this business. Find out what they drive. I came from nothing to something in Miami, for real. And what drives them. It's not about me. At no time is it really about me. Hey, it's your girl, Amber Rose. Dog Magazine Project. Shout out to Welcome back to the Dove Magazine Project. In 2010, my homie Lil Weezy's label, Young Money, had three number one albums. And Weezy spent eight months of that year behind bars. So it goes without saying, to run one of the biggest rap labels in the world, you gotta have somebody to have your back at all times. For Young Money, that's Mac Man. Now Mac Man has known Lil Wayne since they were kids, and together with artists like Drake and Nicki Minaj, they formed one of the biggest rap labels in recent history. Check it out. When you put food on a lot of people's tables, it's not up to you to not go to work today and not do this, you know, because you got to think about the people that depend on you. Hi, Mac May. Young Money's Obama. I call every artist that we have my little brother and my sister. Like, I look at Drake like my brother, Twist like my brother. I don't treat anybody different. I got like 12, 13 artists that depend on me. If I slip and they need me to do something, then that affects them and that affects us. Right now I'm listening to a young artist I've been hearing a lot about. He's on um, auditioning to be with Young Money with the company. He's 13 years old. I've been hearing like he's a cross between Beaver and, and Chris Brown, so. My name is Torion. New artist coming up, R&B, hip hop, that's me. I'm excited to him. Hopefully it works out. You know, I'm, I need some young talent. Pray God you can call. This woman's world. This woman's world. Oh, Dublin, just make it go away. Yeah. Yeah, man. Take my hat off. Thanks, man. Uh, you can create a star. You can take. I can take someone with less talent than him and make him a star. I want to dance with you. All right, let me see what you're working with. I played basketball when I was younger, and I played point guard. And one thing coaches used to say, they'd rather take a, a point guard that's average and create something with him. The main thing about it is make sure the kids have somebody to look up to. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Let's try to get your prep. I'll be, I'll be in touch with your people. All right. See you again, all right? He's going to be a star. Music's about emotion. You can't provoke an emotion, man. They don't want to hear it. Wayne just called me and said he wants to hit the beach. But I already know, you know, Wayne, like, baby Michael Jackson or somebody, they're going to be, ah, they're going to go crazy. They really, I just really looked around while Wayne was on stage. My other little brother was with me too, and I was like, wow. And I said, Wayne, we really did it. This is a basketball ring. Hi, Wayne. So I'm like, we're selling out more than NBA games. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you already hot, Peter. You making the block out. <laughs> then my little brother looked at me and said, he didn't do it, y'all did it. And I thought about it, like, we did. We grew up, we talked about this. We stayed in the studio countless nights, no sleep, riding a bus around the country, promoting to get to this moment. And so I'm like, wow, I am successful. Don't wake me up. Just let me keep living in this dream. The most wealthiest man in the world, he isn't the most famous. And the most popular guy in the world, he isn't the wealthiest. So you pick one. And when people do notice me, I like the way they, they salute me and they respect me and they think me as a great job. It's not like, ah, da, da. it's not that. And it's cool. I like that.
Honestly, I've been blessed to be working with brothers my whole career. It's my man, he from my hood. It's my brother from another. In the mob, what they call him in the mob, they call him street boss. He oversees the everyday operations. That's what he do. As far as my legacy, hopefully it'll be that I changed a lot of lives and, and helped build and maintain and a lot of careers and made a lot of dreams come true. Thank you. The moment I realized I was successful was probably when I deposited my first million dollars. I was probably about 18, 17. So every day you wake up, it's a blessing. Somebody didn't wake up today. Somebody won't wake up tomorrow. And one day it's going to be a day. So before that day comes, take advantage of every day you wake up. <laughs>